Hello and welcome to the first episode of my podcast, Not Just Another Fan Girl. My name is Lucy and together we will be discussing how feminism has changed in the music industry. To do this I will be using three different case studies from three different decades to consider the differences and similarities between each. Some things that I will be including are things such as summary of their childhood, interviews and considering their songwriting too. Throughout the episodes, I will be giving my own conclusion and opinions on how this has changed and why I think so. My first episode will be on Dolly Parton. I think she's a really inspirational and relevant artist whose career was based around the 60s and the 70s. You know, she's not just changed the country music industry, but she's changed the music industry itself. You know, she's considered such a statement person now. Everyone knows her name. Everyone knows who she is, everyone knows her music, that she's just so inspirational and made so many changes to so many people's lives. I think she's a really good starting point to consider back to, you know, how has feminism changed? She is such a good person to sit there and be like, look, this is what it looked like in the 70s, how is it different now? My second artist is Alanis Morissette. I've chosen her as my midpoint again, similarly to why I chose Dolly Parton is she seems to be really good comparing back to both past and future. Her opinions have changed, but they've not changed as much as the future artist I'm about to choose. I think she's got so much that stands out to me, whether it's music, lyrics, vocals, the general sound of her music and albums, that I think it's really important to analyse why she's been so successful and how she's always kind of shown these confident female attributes. My final and favourite case study is Taylor Swift. It might be slightly biased but I think she's such an important person to talk about. It probably would have been a mistake if I didn't mention her. I wasn't really sure who else I would mention if it wasn't Taylor Swift because to me she stands out more than other people and again that could just be because I'm in her target audience but even then I think Lots of people's first idea of a modern female figure here in the music industry who is very up in feminism, they'd most likely say Taylor Swift. Again, like the previous two artists, there's lots to consider, again, whether it's lyrics, politics, speeches, interviews, everything like that. There's so much to analyse, I totally could be here all day. You know, and especially when it comes back to comparing all the way back to Dolly Parton, Um, There's huge differences, but there are also quite a few similarities. So I think it's interesting for me to consider what the similarities are, what the differences are, which bits have stayed the same, yet which bits have progressed and developed more. My final episode will be similar to this episode, where it's not as long as the others. However, I will be giving a general conclusion of the research I've conducted. I'll be recapping some important facts, tying some similarities together, pointing out the differences, but I'll also be including my own primary research. I conducted a survey-based interview with a lady named Jess T, who is a singer slash hostess, and I think the things she said really tied my research together, because even though they're completely different standpoints in life, I think the fact these people are having similar but also slightly different experiences shows that it happens everywhere. The question I'll be answering in this final episode is how has feminism changed in the music industry? As much as that's the topic throughout this final episode we'll focus in on that. Unfortunately this is the end of this episode however excitingly all my other episodes are up right now. I would really appreciate if you had any feedback whether it's positive or constructive I'd love to hear everything you've got to say I hope you've enjoyed this episode or at least if you've learned something that's enough too I'll see you in the next episode where we begin to look at our first case study Dolly Parton